Good Monday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Vizurek visiting with Ag Meteorologist Chris Schrammick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, kind of a chilly start to a Monday. Yeah, Joe, we got temperatures here this morning uh, behind that system in front, of, front that went through over the weekend that didn't give us the rain that we needed because we got in the dry slot of that storm system. And now we're looking to wait till next Monday before we have any other chances for additional precipitation. But we do have that chilly fall-like start for the first days of fall out there. Like we were saying, we got temperatures that have dipped into the 30s out in Colorado. We got one below freezing out there in Lyman at 30. We have 39 being reported in Burlington, Ray, and Holyoke, and 37 out there in Sterling and Fort Morgan. You get to the Nebraska side, we got 39 in Imperial, and get to McCook, we are all the way up to 47. You get here in northwest Kansas locally, we got 40 in Atwood, 43 in Goodland, and 41 in Oakley. So it is rather chilly and fall-like to start off the day. However, dry air, sunny skies, and high pressure overhead with a southwest breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour will warm us up into the middle 70s this afternoon. We do have a weak cool front and a low-pressure system that will go from uh, Bismarck, South Dakota to uh, Columbia, Missouri tonight and tomorrow, and that will turn our winds to the north tomorrow at 10 to 20 miles per hour. But again, the air is dry. We'll probably only see some clouds overnight. That'll keep the overnight low temperatures up there in the upper 40s to around 50. And we'll see tomorrow's temperatures once the sun comes out in the afternoon, uh, similar today in those middle, maybe even upper 70s uh, as that system eventually pulls away. High pressure will come in behind it on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That'll warm us back into the 80s, overnight lows into those lower 50s. And looking ahead to smoking on the beaver and Flatlanders Day in Goodland, uh, in the in the forecast for the weekend, it does look like it'll stay warm and dry with that high pressure ridge overhead. We're expecting highs in the middle to upper 80s, overnight lows in those lower to mid 50s, no chances for rain, and plenty of sunshine. And then we've got that front and next low pressure system and trough that'll come through on Monday. It'll come through here during midday afternoon period. That'll swing our temperatures from a high in the middle 70s to overnight lows, maybe dipping down there to a frost advisory level in the middle 30s, upper 30s, uh, which is right on cue for our average first frost dates out here in northwest Kansas, which are September 30th for Atwood and October 4th for Colby and Goodland. Once again, that's Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather Now, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel for 106.1 KYVZ. I'm Joe Vizurek.